Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the week. Oh, no. Uh, this is like the third time I've done that, but welcome to your reading for mid-June 2021. Uh, let's see what is going on for you here. Uh, Virgo, love this card and this card as well. Uh, you have the Great Fortune card, so there could be a lot of success. Ooh, I love this card even more, the Phoenix card. So this is nice, but uh, Virgo, Let's see what's going on for you. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising uh, for a full picture of what is going on for you. But uh, Virgo, I feel like you've been very patient. You've been like waiting for this rebirth to happen, but, uh, and you show up right here. I feel like for some of you, this is you just being reborn in a lot of ways. It's like you're rising from the ashes here. And I definitely like this energy for you this month. Uh, you start off with this great fortune card. Again, could be money. doesn't have to be, as I always say. You know, to me in tarot, it's like these money cards and the like great fortune cards, like these oracle cards. It could just be abundance in general. You could be meeting a lot of people. Uh, you could be, you know, uh, receiving an abundance of support. It could be any type of abundance. So I do feel for a lot of you, there's like abundance coming in for you with this energy. And um, I like that. So I feel like there's a lot of success coming in for you here with this energy as well. Uh, you do have this imprisonment card here. I feel, and uh, I, I, this is why I clarified, because I, I definitely was feeling something weird with this King of Swords here. Because you go ten, King of Swords, Ten of Wands to the Hermit. Uh, the This energy here is telling me that you don't want to be defined by something. I kind of understand that, um, you know, here, Virgo. I feel like that in a lot of ways, what this is saying is that there is something that you see as very fortunate, like a job. But at the same time, I think we can have something that we see as fortunate, but we could also see it as kind of like a prison you know, in a lot of ways. So I feel like you're trying to not lock yourself into something. That makes sense to me, Virgo. I don't think this is a bad thing. Um, like I said, it's like maybe you have a certain job title and it's like you don't want to be known for that because it's not all you want to do. You know, I'm getting something about your title, it, but it doesn't have to be work. This could be in love. It could be who you are in the world. It could be anything. And I feel like you're trying to figure out like, how do I not get locked in? How do I maintain my uh, independence and freedom? Very Virgo of you, right? <laughs> and again, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So, you know, definitely something to think about. You have the Strength card, the Eight of Cups, and the King of Swords. I feel like you're thinking about walking away from something here is what I would say with the Eight of Cups. And um, really, I just feel that it it's like you just need to reinvent something you know, with this Phoenix card at the end. I feel like you just need to have a rebirth, right? And maybe you're reinventing yourself because you have the Magician here. And the Magician is a card of hidden talents, gifts, skills, and abilities. But I feel, um, you know, again, I kind of get that under, I totally understand where you're coming from here, Virgo, because, you know, I've been there, right? <laughs> and uh, you have the King of Swords here as well. But again, like I said, I feel this is more, it's kind of weird because I feel this more as like Emperor energy, if that makes sense, where it's like the Emperor, Emperor feel is a card of control, but I feel like you could be feeling controlled by something here is really what I'm getting in this row. The Strength card, I feel like is asking you to be patient. I feel like you have been patient, but it's almost like you feel like something defines you. And I feel like you're trying to flip that around here is really what I'm getting. You have the hangman, which is gaining a new perspective. So I feel like you will be able to kind of flip something around here. But it's like, it's like I understand this feeling and what I've been trying to spit out for the past uh, three minutes and 39 seconds is the fact that um, it's almost like you want to be, you see yourself as more. You know, and again, I feel like this is a good thing. It's like you're trying to expand yourself here. You're trying to be more. Hermit, there you go. This is you. How funny is it? You and then your rebirth, you, right here. I mean, like I said, pretty simple reading. You can't make this stuff up. So I feel like you, this is where you are right now. You have the world. Uh, the world is going through a birthing process. I would say, I love the world. Card of completion. It's wanting to end a cycle. Um, everything is fitting in very nicely here, Virgo. Pretty straightforward reading, like I said. Um, but the world, to me, can be uncomfortable because the world... To me, it's like she's in the middle of the world here. It's kind of like she's going through a birthing process. She's being born she, or she's being reborn. She's being pushed out the other side. So it could be, you know, there could be some discomfort there. And you have the five of wands. Again, conflicted, not sure what to do. Five of wands card of immaturity, but you know, I don't think you, you are being immature in a situation. I feel like you are learning and these people are learning. I always say that, the, that these people on the five of wands, they represent young people. That's why it's a card of immaturity, um, but really they're training, they're learning. They're learning how to fight. They're not fighting for the wrong reasons. So I feel like you've been going through a lot of battles probably, um, you know, these could be like internal battles. Again, if you feel divine, de, um, defined by your job, for example, 
It's like maybe you're like, wow, I'm really grateful that I'm making all this money, but I don't want to be known for this or I, I don't want to do this. That's a type of conflict I get here. Same thing in like love or other areas of your life. I feel like you don't want to be kind of stuck in a role. It's like you don't want to fit into a... Um, you know, some sort of role that, you know, isn't right. It's almost like you want to just create yourself here with the magician. And uh, I love that. <laughs> so, you know, I'm a big fan of creating your perfect life, right? Whatever that means for you. And I feel like if you put the work in and use your powers of manifestation, you could do it. Uh, you have the fool. Um, you've been getting the fool for literally the entire like six and a half years that I've been on YouTube. You've been getting the fool card for, with me. So I feel like it's time to kind of like take a leap of faith towards something here that you want to create. I feel like it's time for you to take a leap of faith towards something you want to manifest here. You have the Six of Swords, the Magician, and the Ten of Wands. I, I, like I, this to me is just like a collection of a collection of all the bullcrap that you've been going through for the past like 10 years, 20 years could be a long period of time. It's like you're carrying a lot of weight on your back here and you're carrying a lot of responsibilities. Uh, the Magician kind of... Um, I am kind of feeling like magic on this card in general, which y yes, the card is called the magician, but I never like feel like it's magic. You know, I never feel like it's necessarily a, a magical thing going on here. To me, it's more about your hidden talents, gifts, skills, or abilities. But I feel like you are kind of like pulling a rabbit out of the hat here. I feel like you're kind of creating a little bit ma of magic in your life by undergoing a transformation. This is something you are being guided to, I feel with this Six of Swords. Six of Swords, normally there's a guy in the back of the boat. He represents a guide. He represents someone who goes back and forth between the choppy waters. So I do feel like you are being guided at this time towards you know something greater or towards something that you truly want in your life here. Yeah, you, know, you have the Three of Pentacles, somewhere where you can do better work. Three, and again, this could be in love, business, spirituality, any area of your life. Three of Pentacles is just the card of quality work. So I feel for a lot of you, it's kind of like you're trying to figure out like, where can I do the best work in my life? Uh, you have the Six of Pentacles here with the Magician and the Seven of Swords here as well. Get out of your head, card of fears. What's this? Death card going through a transformation. Uh, like I said, Seven of Swords could be lying, cheating, stealing. Although, you know, again, I'm not really seeing this as a love reading. To me, this is like a big picture reading, as always. I, I mean, I prefer to do more big picture readings anyway, but um, you could have been dealing with some lying, cheating, stealing with a Scorpio. It's been coming up for you for weeks now. But what I would also say is that this could just represent trying to do things on your own. And it does say, you know, don't care. You don't have to carry these burdens on your own with the Ten of Wands. You can allow other people to help you. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to, you know, try to get help from other people or anything like that. I always tell people it's like not a bad thing. I don't know what it is, you know, with this whole like independent streak that people have where they're just like, I'm independent. I'll do everything on my own. But I'm always like, you know, like one of the most spiritual things you can do is allow people to help you because you're lifting them up with you at the same time that they're helping you become successful. So don't be afraid to lift other people up either, you know, with that energy. Uh, you have the Phoenix card here. So I feel like you are rising from the ashes in a big way uh, is what I would say to you. Um, I feel like saying coming out. I don't mean like you're coming out as in coming out, but I mean, maybe some of you are, but um, I feel like this is kind of like you're having this big reveal, you know, of who you truly are. And um, this is not going to happen right now. Uh, just so you know, Virgo, I feel like this is something, because again, this is not, this right here is not an overnight process, right? This is something that you're working towards, something that you've been doing for quite a long period of time. But I feel like you're about to have like this big reveal type energy with this Phoenix card. And you're about to have like this major, like a rebirth or kind of like a rising from the ashes here, or at least the opportunity for you to do that exists. You have the Hangman, the Two of Cups and the Hermit here. Again, you showing up in a very strong position, kind of ready to reveal yourself. Even here, it's like, um, you know, that hangman, I love, this is like my favorite hangman of all the of all the decks that I have. It's like she is kind of like revealing something here behind this, you know, behind all these leaves or whatever it is. There's like something behind her. She's unzipping it. So for a lot of you, I feel like you're kind of revealing yourself to the world. Two of Cups I love outside of love as well because Two of Cups is you and your higher self. It's like you're really resonating with who you really are and you're stepping into that energy, which is very powerful. Uh, I do feel like there could be love coming in in the future as well. This is your future position and you do have the Two of Cups here. So there clearly could be like a new connection uh, coming in for you in the near future. 
You have the King of Wands here. I love the King of Wands. It's very creative energy, and it's also something you want to work on. Again, I can't get away from that in this reading, that I feel like for a lot of you, you're looking for more than just, like, this isn't just career. It's not just love. It's, you know, everything in your life. And the King of Wands, he wants to, like, live a life of desire, fun, entertainment, freedom, you know, all those things. And I feel like that's what you're trying to do. I feel like your energy, it's like you're embracing the King of Wands energy in this reading, and it's like you want all those things. Uh, you have the Ten of Pentacles, everything you want in your life. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is uh, the tree of life. It is everything you want in your life. So love it. Can't beat that. And you have the tower here as well. Of course, we gotta we gotta throw something in the monk, in, you know, a monkey wrench into the works here. But uh, again, what I would say is it's probably this King of Swords energy, feeling controlled here by something, feeling like you are defined by something. Um, the tower would also make sense with the Phoenix as well, because again, the tower gets reduced down to its foundation, and it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It's like you're being reborn into something new. So I don't really see that tower as a bad thing. I would definitely be if you're dealing with the, the Scorpio that. We been talking about then you know clearly be careful but uh where is this i just want to get more details on this whole uh situation here virgo a really good reading i wouldn't even worry about the tower obviously yeah king of swords here um like again i would be careful of other people uh hierophant here as well and uh let's see here and the tower again i would be careful of um you know this king of swords type energy especially if you're dealing with a um, controlling energy as well um i like the king of swords but you know kind of like on the negative side of things it can represent someone who isn't direct someone who is a liar so if you've had someone in your life who is a liar I would be very careful of that. The other thing is, is again, you have that imprisonment card. We can choose to stay stuck. You know, we, you know, it, tarot doesn't control your life. You can, tr you create your own reality. So we can choose to not, um, you know, change things. I don't know, but you have the Ace of Cups here. So your emotions overflowing, being very happy. You have the Fool needing to take, like, you know what this is saying is like, you are ready, you know, here in the Nine of Swords. The only thing holding you back is you. Uh, the Tower twice is basically kind of like the universe saying, you have a choice. You can, and it's funny because I said this to your opposite sign, Pisces, in their reading. They had a very similar reading. You might want to watch it if you have anything in Pisces. But, um, you know, on the tower, there's one person who is diving headfirst out of the tower. The other person's being pushed out. So in a lot of ways, you know, you can see here how there's one person in the red di diving out. The other person looks like they're being pushed out here, Virgo. And it's kind of like you have a choice. You can either be the bug or the windshield, as I say. You can undergo the transformation and be reborn better than ever. Or you can, you know, have the universe create a tower moment for you, which is never good, right? So we definitely don't want that. Yeah, you have the poverty card, not wanting to be left out here. Uh, and you have the occupation here. I'd be careful doing busy work for sure. Uh, normally, I would say that the, to me, you know, the eight of pentacles is really the busy work card. But, um, you know, I would be careful. Uh, that's what's popping to my head is like doing things just to do things uh, to delay some sort of transformation. I feel like that Phoenix thing needs to happen, right? This rebirth needs to happen. So for some of you, this could be like a move, like maybe you know you need to move, but you keep delaying it. I would get moving. Maybe you know you need to quit it, uh, leave a job so that you can define yourself as something else, right? And this to me would say like, get moving, like make, make it happen because now is the time. So I kind of feel like this reading, you know, all in all is kind of saying, uh, don't wait. You know, I feel like it's saying, get moving forward here. I actually, like, what is the, I'm gonna pull three more cards because I'm too nosy. I just have to know, like, what is the ultimate outcome here for Virgo? Four cups here. You have the uh, three of wands, waiting for the perfect moment when there never will be a perfect moment, needing to take the leap of faith, right? And the emperor, <laughs> it's funny that I was talking about control. Look, this emperor has like leashes going to all these people. They're controlling all these people. Uh, it could be you taking the lead though, because the three of wands is a card of leadership. The emperor is a card of you taking the lead. So for a lot of you, I do feel like you're gonna take the lead in this situation. 10 of cups, fortune after difficulty. The six of swords, major improvement, six of swords here and the star, yep, uh, major healing. So you're clearly going through this kind of rising from the ashes moment in your life. And I feel like, again, what it has to do with is you, like how you fit into the world. I, you know, 
part of me wants to say that you're trying to fit a mold, but I actually feel like the opposite of that. I feel like you're trying to be able to, it's like you're trying to become water, right? It's like if you, um, you know, like, like I think it was Bruce Lee, um, who said something about if you, you know, become water. Like if you, water gets put into a cup, it, it you know, becomes the shape of the cup, right? If it, if you pour it on the ground, it becomes the shape of the ground basically, or any little holes in the ground, right? And I kind of get that feeling for you here where it's like, you don't necessarily want to fit a mold. I feel like you're hoping to become more flexible in life and define yourself on your own terms. And that's what I see here. Really good reading. I kind of like this. It's interesting. So thank you for being here, Virgo. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Uh, also feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, Virgo, and definitely enjoy your week.